At a November Joint Economic Committee hearing, Senator Mark Kelly warned the U.S. not to repeat its chip manufacturing mistakes, this time with AI. Questioning Will Reinhardt of the American Enterprise Institute, Kelly asked what America must do now to stay ahead of China in the global AI race. In your paper on the Chips and Science Act, you describe how unique economic conditions pushed chip fabrication and testing overseas and how Congress responded with significant federal funding to bring more of that capacity back to the United States. So as we think about AI and advanced uh, compute, what less lessons should we take from that experience about the risk of letting critical technology supply chains and infrastructure move overseas if the federal government does not stay engaged? Yeah, I, I think that the uh, what we did with chips, I think, was incredibly needed. Um, the thing that I would like to see is for us to get that money out sooner. I think the big issue that we need to ensure is that when the programs themselves are, you know, when they are funded and appropriated, that we make sure that uh, companies are getting them quickly, that we that we get every, the money out to the people who are needed. And, you know, fundamentally, I, I do see that there are some current, you know, Micron has, has talked about recently that they're having some delays in their in their production. Um, they have delays in their in the, the factories that they're 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 standing up. Some of that is related, at least seems perhaps to permitting. Some of it seems uh, to be related to labor and production. So to me, this is really looks like a whole of an economy of approach, right? You need a whole bunch of different things that are that are fitting together. But where I think the government really should be pressing the the pedal is just making sure that the money gets out to them as quickly as possible. Do you, do you feel that this is a winner-take-all kind of scenario that, you know, some countries' AI systems will um, be adopted by other countries and that country winds up, you know, gaining the most? No, I, I when you look at, for example, Anthropic, right? Anthropic was kind of a a laggard. Um, you know, they they weren't first to the, you know, they weren't first like OpenAI was, and yet they are still a massive and important uh, component of people who are writing code. Um, you know, and their 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 models are currently, you know, top notch. So I don't think that necessarily, you know, this is a this is a quickly moving market, and as long as you continue to innovate, which American companies have been doing, as long as you continue to innovate, um, I think that there is obviously there's not a there's not like a single. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a single winner take all. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips, and thanks for watching.